Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Alfred Kete is coming out to expose William Ruto as what he is saying is that William Ruto is a man that always advises himself. He is the advisor of economic or other economics in the Republic of Kenya. William Ruto is the advisor in health ministry. William Ruto is the advisor when it comes to the Ministry of Trade, Investment and Industry. William Ruto is the advisor when it comes to education center, uh, sector and several others across the board. As I was listening to Alfred Keter, you will understand that William Ruto is a man that you cannot advise. William Ruto is a man for himself. He advises himself across the board. When it comes to ministries, when it comes to boards, parastatus, it is William Samoy Ruto. And because William Ruto wants to be himself, and that is why you will see kind of messes across the board that no one is coming out to say that this is the bad person when it comes to the ideas, agendas, and ideologies. Because William Ruto himself is the advisor. How will he come out to fire the economic advisor, David D, or any advisor which for us, what Alfred, Alfred Keter is coming out to say is clearly the truth. I want you to watch whatever Alfred Keter is saying. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching this video and you don't like this video, please do me a favor, and sure you like this video. You comment and you share. And if it is for the first time you are visiting this channel, please consider subscribing. Let us listen to whatever Alfred Keter is saying. And another lie yeah. that has been repeated so many times, he repeated it in May, that when he went to government, he found empty coffers. Mm. He was from where? From the moon. Yeah. He was a deputy <laughs> president of the Republic of Kenya, mm -hmm. earning a salary with an office, with attending a cabinet meetings. He was part of that government. That's a lie. Lakini ya likuwa metengwa, nasama likuwa metengwa. Kutengwa ni lini. Hata kama ni kutengwa, hiku sidi miyakambili. He was a deputy president from 2013. Ndiyo. All the loans were taken, most even the Eurobond, was not after 2017. It was before 2017. Ndiyo. And he was defending it. You know the problem? He forgets even whatever he says himself. He was defending it on national media. Saying that we are borrowing, but we are disciplined in our borrowing. We know the projects we want to do. So why were you disciplined in borrowing then? Then now you claim that the problems of this country is uh, the same loans. It is as simple as that. Yes. He cannot take advice from anybody. Mm -hmm. The day he will change, mm -hmm. maybe. And I, from the look of things, yes. I don't see him change. And I don't see him change. I don't see You cannot advise him. Mm -hmm. He is an expert of accounting, uh -huh. <laughs> economics. Uh -huh. Health issues, mm -hmm. security matters, mm -hmm. roads, infrastructure, transport, every sector, even on international relations. Yes. Let me explain something that is so sad mm. in this country. Yes. Juzi, about a month or two months ago, Alisema, ati, we are tired as African states. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm. Statesmen, yeah. heads of government and, and uh, presidents. Yes. Going to be lectured by one president. Yes. Italy calling all of us like students. Mm -hmm. Then they are taken in a bus hey. from uh, Zidu, hey, mm. to, to the meeting. Naibu. Na niongea kapewa wa standing ovation akiwa KICC. Kabisa. Kabisa. Kusema, tumechoka. Look at what happened. Juzi wakati ya mepata matuzi. Yara, yara. 
Mm-hmm. Kule Meru. Eh. Na Meru ninayowashukuru sana. Hiyo <laughs> <laughs> ni amenendo muendelee hivyo hivyo. Uh-huh. Nashukuru wale watu wote wanakuru. Ndio. Wale wetu wote wanandi. Wale wote. Ha? Wamefanya mambo ya uongo yeah. ikomeshwe. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu kudanganyana tumechoka. Uongo, you know you cannot lie, you can lie to someone sometimes. But not, but not all, all the, the people have all the time. Mm. So akasema tumechoka. Mm. Then he went to Italy. And he appeared alone. Mine has all the East African uh, heads of states and government. What does that mean? Hata nimeona hapa na umenionyesha, Uhuru is writing on Uhuru projects. Yeah. Double speak. Alikuwa anasema jubilee imeshindwa. Sasa hizi anasema sasa yale ambao walifanya, yeye ndiye anazindua sasa. Na anazindua project ambayo za kitambo kama nimekuambia ile ya Meru. Mm. Nimekuambia Technical uh, Institute in in Tindre. Mm-hmm. They didn't do anything in Nandi. They went to Wazengishu to 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 a charge function. Then they came to uh, town and look at these housing uh, projects. Mm-hmm. You know the whole thing is a scandal. Kwa nini tunasema scandal? It is a scandal because it is illegal. Mm-hmm. You know. You cannot tax someone then another p- person benefits from that tax mm-hmm. directly. Because look look at it this way. Wewe unalipa house levy. Ndio. Kwa sababu umeajiriwa. Yes. Mimi silipi. Mimi ni mwanabiashara. Nyumba ikikuwa tayari we have equal chance ya kununua. Sasa mbona namba 2? These houses mnajenga kwa chamba ya public public yeah. land. Uh-huh. It has never been degraded from public land to private because the individuals who are buying are buying on their capacities as private, private citizens. Uh-huh. Waje nikuulize swali. Pale Kiambu a public land ukijenga ikisha nikinana na watano nikila kila mkae ndio wale watu wa Kiambu shamba walikuwa wameacha public maybe for some use yeah. by county mm-hmm. is it going to benefit that county or is benefiting everyone some are community land ndio yeah. na nikuulize tena mhm nimeona kule Mombasa niliona kule Eldoret nimeona Taita Taveta mbona unabomoa manyumba za watu na unataka kutujengea nyumba Is there a better way why don't you look for land somewhere Nasema hizo nyumba zinabomolewa kama Kakamega zilikuwa kwa public land How many properties are in public land na ibomolewa mm-hmm. ya pili Ni lini mumedigaze because ume, nimekuuliza swali mm-hmm. ukijenga hii nyumba ikikuwa tayari nikinunua kama mimi ama will brother ama wewe Francis mm-hmm. ukinunua utapewa iko private ama unachukua kama ni ya public itakuwa ni wewe mm-hmm. as a private citizen yes and is it affordable that's another question imagine using my own money my own land then inakuwa tena si affordable kuna nilisikiza jana hapa mhm milele fm yes kuna wangwana walikuwa naongea vizuri na wakasema kule choki mao kuna nyumba inauzwa 3 million na ni the same ile ambayo mm-hmm. nauza 4 million. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Na kuuliza mbona yenu ya affordable houses inakuwa si affordable? What is affordable in these houses? Because they are expensive mm-hmm. kushinda the normal private uh, developers. Yeah. And you're using my money ndio and my land. And it is still expensive. Tutakuwa tuna Now, that is whatever Alfred Kentel is coming out to say. And simply, we are being told William Ruto cannot be advised. Number two, William Ruto, his lies now is collecting across the Republic of Kenya. If it is about Nyanza, they do understand William Ruto. Western, they do understand William Ruto. Coastal, they do understand William Ruto. Mount Kenya, they do understand William Ruto. Hata kwa Rift Valley, they do understand William Samoe Ruto, including Ukambani, Nairobi, everywhere. They do understand who is William Samoe Ruto. But the question is, is William Ruto going to succeed the way he's continuing? Or rather, is William Ruto going to manage to control the hostile crowds across the Republic of Kenya? Because for me, I know it will reach a time 
that William Ruto will even not address anyone. He will be chased. He will be booed. He will be heckled. And because it is a trend that you've seen in his rallies, William Ruto is in a kind of terrible place. Despite of him coming out to organize his government to ensure that even if the ground is going to host it, they're going to soldier on. But let me tell you, the movement of people is so little to William Ruto. And if in any case this is going to trend like this, let me say it. William Ruto might not be a man to say that can win election again in this Republic of Kenya. Despite of him even organizing how they will rig election, it will not be on his favor. People will come out and say that enough is enough. Now that will depend on how people will take William Ruto. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? As per the statement of Alfred Kete, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, 